Bowman here at BW1.com, giving you the Bowman Pack. The Bowman Pack is a collection of applications that I like to have installed on my Windows mobile device. So let's get started. First, we're going to start, Programs, File Explorer, and the Bowman Pack, which I already have unzipped and on my um, storage card. So the few applications that are going to be in this pack is going to be the HTC Home, which I've already shown you in a different video how to install. So I'm not going to go over that again, but you're going to be able to see that in the link to this posting on how to install that. There's some job applications I want to show you, some how to stream flash video on your device, which I'm actually going to show in a separate video because I know a lot of people are going to be interested in that specifically separately. And I'm going to show you how to install Google Maps, HTC Task Manager, and Live Search. So let's start off with HTC Task Manager. So you're asking, what is HTC Task Manager? Basically, it is what it sounds. It's a task manager that you can run on your today's screen which manages all the tasks that are running in the background of your device. You can close them as you wish, you can see which ones are running more memory than others and it gives you that it gives you that freedom to just kind of control what's running in your background and control your memory right from your today's screen without having to go into deep into the settings. So we have it installed here but first to get to actually show up we're going to need to do a soft reset to the device. So we're going to do that first and then we're going to come back. Okay, now that we've let the device reset, you can see here in the top right corner we have a new icon and that's the task manager. When you click on that, it allows you to see what tasks are being run currently on your device, lets you know the memory, how much of that's being used, and it gives you some settings options here on the side. So if to close out an application, you can click right here. This will close them all out to clear up all the memory of running programs, or you can just click on them individually with the red X on the side, and they'll close right out. Click on here, we'll go into the settings to show you some quick settings options. You can see the running programs list, you can stop specific ones or you can stop them all. You can exclude specific programs. You can also enable or disable the X button on how, on how it handles running programs. You can have it enabled and you can end programs by tapping X or OK. So every time you hit OK or X here in the corner, it will always just close the program out completely. That's kind of not a good thing because if you're trying to enter in a calendar appointment or a task and you have to hit OK to have the appointment saved, if you click OK, it just closes out of it completely and it doesn't allow it to save. So if you want this option on, you have to click End Programs by typing and holding X or what I do, I just shut it off completely and uncheck that option. This enables a quick menu on today's screen. And then you can have a sort by program name or memory usage. I just have a sort by memory usage. And that is the HTC Task Manager. Next application we're going to install here is going to be Google Maps. Google Maps is basically having the Google Maps that you get on the website right on your mobile phone. It allows you to get addresses, phone numbers, and directions to where you want to go anywhere in the world. So we'll just let this run and install real quickly. Just need to go to our programs and you click on Google Maps. And it's right there. You just make sure you accept the agreement. Do not operate while driving. Gives you a little warning ahead of time. And you click OK. And there's your Google Maps. Pops up. You can search. So let's do a quick search. Let's just do Boston, Massachusetts. Click OK. And it loads right in. You can have directions to here from here. You can search nearby. Let's get directions to here from. And we'll give you the route, we'll give you the turn by turn directions right in front of you. And also show it right here on the screen as well. You can also give you a satellite view. The My Locations it works, I believe, with GSM devices that allows you to see kind of gives you sort of a GPS view based on the cell tower that you're in. You can also use a GPS, separate GPS device. If you have a Bluetooth one or if it's built in, it'll be able to use it through Google Maps. You can show the traffic, gives you traffic reports, and you can also zoom in and out as well. And the closer you zoom in, the uh, more detailed the map gets. So that's Google Maps. Next application I'm going to install sort of its competitor, but it's just as good is Windows Mobile Live Search and it's pretty similar in Google Maps but it has a couple of cool extra features in it. Let this load 
it up. Cool thing here, you can see on the bottom left here, you can actually speak. What that actually means is that you can actually just have speak recognition, you can talk right into it, and it'll recognize what you're saying and try to search in that area. So you can search by category, you can go directly to maps, directions, you can get traffic reports, also a couple of new cool features, you can search by movies, gas prices, you can search by a collection, you can search by the web, and you can also search this using weather. So let's say you want to look for cafes in Los Angeles, California, and we want to click search, and it'll list all the cafes in that general area. Obviously you want to give a specific address to get a little closer. So let's go to Pete's Cafe and Bar. So we click on it here. It gives you right here the phone number and the address. You click on the phone number, you can actually call it right from the program itself. You can also map it on the program. And also here in the orange, it gives you the location of the other ones that you've searched. You can also get detailed directions to and from, just like Google search. You can also center on a GPS if you have a GPS device enabled. You can do road and aerial, aerial view as well. And one of the cool things I do like about live search a little bit better than Google Maps is that it has a much cleaner interface versus the Google Maps. But at the same time, Google Maps is a little bit faster. One of the important things you want to make sure when you're using live search is that make sure in the settings here that you have everything cached to the storage card so it cash it into the storage card and you want to make it as big as possible I'll make it 120 megabytes which most cards are about that size and so that is live search next program I'm going to install here in this video is going to be a Java apps basically to, to run Java application you need a Java machine and that's what I'm going to install right here I install everything locally to the device just so that it's local on the device I believe some of these you can install the storage card if you want to if you're running out of space on your device but I just like to keep things clean and keep all programs installed locally and then I also just keep my data on the storage card. Right back to the programs menu. I'm going to click on this big red E here and this is your Java virtual machine and you can install and you go to menu here and you go to install you can install via the browser means you can go right out to Internet Explorer, Pocket Internet Explorer, and you can go to the website and install right from there, or you can install via local files. It'll actually search your card. It sees I already have two Java Java programs here ready to go. I'm gonna click on Gmail. I'm gonna have that installed. I'm gonna have it installed in the root, okay. Just click yes. It's gonna you wanna click okay. Email and let's do another local files. I'll install mini. Yes, yes. And no, we don't want to launch this right now, but to show you quickly. Gmail application is exactly what it says it is. It gives you a richer Gmail experience, very close to the desktop. Just put your username and password in, and you're good to go. Opera Mini is actually having a mobile desktop browser right on your, right onto your phone. It gives you just that richer experience. And click OK here. It's going to install it. Click Accept, and let's check for an example. Let's do MySpace. Just going to need to put some random information on the screen. And there's your programs, you I know, mean, um, MySpace right there. So you can click on it, you can scroll up and down, double click somewhere, you can zoom right on it, and you get the full web page experience. It doesn't support Flash, but it does give you the kind of the full web experience right on your mobile phone. So this is Bowman from BW1.com giving you the Bowman pack, part one. Obviously, part two, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, streaming Flash video part of this pack. And that's it. So this is Bowman from VW1.com introducing you the Bowman Pack and reminding you to live your tech world in high definition.